video is part of my 12 cookies of Christmas series 2023 where I explore the Christmas cookies of 12 different European countries. In today's video, I'm sharing with you an Austrian classic called Vanilla Kipferl or Vanilla Crescents. These are a short crust type cookie made with ground almonds, flour, sugar, butter, and vanilla. They're very common throughout the German speaking countries this time of year and are part of the vast variety of Weinox Plätzchen enjoyed in the Germanic countries. So join me today as I share with you this Viennese classic as well as its history and stick with me to the very end where I will give you a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Let's get started. First begin by putting 300 grams or two and a half cups of all-purpose flour into a bowl with 125 grams or two thirds of a cup of sugar and 125 grams or one and a third a cup of ground skinless almonds. Then whisk that together. And if you're adding vanilla sugar instead of extract, you'll whisk two packets in at this point. Now work in 250 grams or two sticks plus two tablespoons of cold unsalted butter. Work it together with your hands until the butter is pretty evenly distributed and it looks like wet sand. While I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of vanilla Kipferl. Many sources cite the legend that the Kipferl, or crescent-shaped yeast bun, was invented by the Viennese baking couple Peter and Eva after the Second Turkish Siege of Vienna in 1683 as a way to mock the Turkish crescent. But upon further digging, I discovered that this likely isn't true as the actual first known mention of a crescent-shaped baked good is found in Das Fürstenbuch, or Book of Princes, which is the first known history of the city of Vienna from the late 13th century, written by Jans the grandson. In Middle High German, it mentions bakers making Gipchen, or Kipferl, for Leopold the Glorious. Now, the actual modern cookie flavored with vanilla did not come around until much later because the vanilla pod had not yet been brought to Europe. And when it was brought to Europe, it was very expensive. So it wasn't until 1874 that German chemists began to produce vanillin synthetically. And then after that, it started to make its way into middle-class households. So just a decade later in 1884, we see the first published recipe for vanilla Kipferl in the cookbook Die Süddeutsche Küche by Katharina Prato from Graz, Austria. Though this crescent-shaped cookie dough may have been a descendant from the vanilla Stangen or vanilla sticks published in 1863 in the book The Practical Viennese Suburban Cook. So the conclusion here is that this cookie was created during the Victorian era when modern Christmas traditions had their advent and spread throughout much of the Western world to be representative of the Christmas celebrations we have today. Now back to the dough. When you've reached the consistency of wet sand, dump the contents of your bowl onto your work surface and make a well in the center and add three egg yolks and two teaspoons of vanilla extract and work that all together until you have a cohesive, smooth dough. Now you're going to refrigerate the dough, but before doing that, I like to roll it into long cylinders to make shaping them into crescents much easier. But if you prefer, you can just wrap it up the regular way. You'll refrigerate it for about half an hour. Then you'll cut one inch or two and a half centimeter sections and roll them out onto your work surface to form small crescents. Then you'll place those on a parchment lined baking sheet and you can put them pretty close together just because they don't spread much when baking. Then you're going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes or until just barely golden on the edges. 
Then place them on a cooling rack briefly while you mix together 150 grams or one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar with two packets of vanilla sugar. I linked this below if you can't find it at your local store. Toss the warm cookies in the sugar and put them on a serving platter to enjoy once cooled. I've actually had vanilla kip pearl before. I usually make them every year with my kids and I just love their short texture and the flavor of vanilla and almond together. And I also think they're really pretty on a Christmas cookie platter. They're just perfect with a cup of coffee or a mug of mulled wine. Make sure to hit the notification bell on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the cookies in the rest of the series but I will put the playlist to the series at the end of the video so that you can catch up on any you may have missed. I will see you tomorrow, but until then, here is a sneak peek of what's to come.